Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a three part air fryer video and we are going to be starting out with breakfast today and then I'm going to be making lunch and supper in this video. So they're going to be very quick, easy recipes and um, just a couple ingredients for this and I will list all of the recipes down below in the description for you guys to follow. The first one that we're gonna be making is called Egg Bites. And if you guys saw some of my other videos, I keep talking about the accessory kits that I got for my air fryer. So this is one of them. And with these, you can make um, all sorts of things in here. And today we're just gonna do the Egg Bites. I did make a video where I made brownies in here. so. But today we're just gonna make a couple uh, egg bites in here. So I have all my ingredients over here. I have my eggs right here in the bowl, and then I have my red onion and my peppers and some cilantro. I have some cheese and I have my bacon bits. So what I'm gonna do is start cutting up the vegetables and then we'll start getting the eggs going and we'll mix it all together. And then I'll show you what you need to do with adding them into the form and what the temperature and stuff needs to be. So okay, so I'll just kind of talk to you guys for a little bit while I do this. What? Mama's gotta cut this up. I'll just cut these up quick. You can't have this. That's an onion. onion. That's an onion, yeah. Depending on the size. Oh, I'm dying. Woo! They're onions. Woo! Okay, depending on the size. <laughs> the onions are terrible. Okay, so depending on the size that you want for your onion. Yeah? I don't know. Depending on the size that you want for your onions, if you want them cut up tiny, or if you have like a food processor or something like that, that you could cut them up um, and make it faster, that would work too. How many of you guys that have uh, an air fryer that you've been probably using for a while now? Um, do you guys like using it? Do you use it on a regular basis? Um, or do you just pull it out like randomly? Do you feel like it's a useless new like fad that just, you know, kind of happened? But for us, um, even though like I think a lot of our stuff, we could get away with cooking it in the oven for bigger portions. Um, so this is like good for you know smaller meals and stuff like that but um sometimes for us if we're just cooking up like certain things like french fries or whatever it actually cooks faster in here than for us to wait for french fries in the oven so we do use it on a regular basis it wouldn't it'd be kind of stupid for us to um, put it away and take it out every time we use it just because we use it that often um, you can do hash browns in there like not you could maybe try to do the shredded hash browns I don't know Gage didn't we try that before um, but you could use the ones kind of like McDonald's has or something like that but or like tater tots you can do in there um, it just cooks them a little bit faster than um, in the oven so we just use it like that depending on how much cilantro you like or how much um, that you want to cut up is totally up to you not everybody likes cilantro so you don't even need to add it if you don't want to gonna do it yeah, well, when I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna add heavy whipping cream. You can use milk or whatever that you usually add to your eggs. Um, it could be water if you want water mixed in there. 
But for right now, I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream. So I have six eggs in here right now. I noticed with some other air fryers that you have to preheat them first. I don't always, but if the recipe requires that, then it's okay to do that. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. So just add your salt and pepper. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add some of my peppers, onion, cilantro. Yeah. Bacon bits. Yeah. Yeah. And just mix it together. Make sure that you spray your um, little liners here because otherwise it'll be a little harder to get the eggs and stuff out of there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a ice cream scooper and just pour that right in. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have made eggs in your air fryer. I did do an omelet one time. I'll try to put that up above and then, so. Use six large eggs and that was enough to fill all of these for one batch. What I suggest that you do is put the form inside, then you don't have to pick it up like I was doing. That just made it a little bit more complicated. So just put it in. You're gonna wanna set your air fryer to 300. And you're gonna cook it for 10 minutes and then we're gonna see if it's cooked all the way through. So we'll come back and check on that in 10 minutes. And they still are not cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna cook them for another maybe like two to three minutes and see if that helps. So the three minutes up, I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna scoop them right out from um, the air fryer basket just so I don't have to deal with trying to get that out of there when it's hot. So I'm just gonna scoop these up here on this plate. can add a little bit of sriracha or ketchup or salsa or whatever else you want to put on top. So I'm just going to, maybe not, just going to put a little bit on top of these three because I'll be the one eating them. Otherwise, you're going to try it too. Miles is right here, so he wants to try it too. <laughs> All right. So this is breakfast. This is um, what I made today for breakfast. And um, so the cooking time just varies for your air fryer. So just keep a watch on that. And then, um, so the recipe calls for the air fryer to be at 300 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. And I had to cook mine a little bit longer. So, but they're done. They look yummy and I'm excited to uh, try them out and to see how good they taste. So we're gonna move on to lunch and let's get started. We are ready for lunch and I'm just gonna cook up some of these butterfly shrimp. And we've been doing this a lot lately where we either cook up these or just the smaller breaded shrimp. And what I do is I just throw them in, nothing special. And I told you guys that I was gonna be doing something really simple and quick. And for my side, I have uh, two baked potatoes, like red potatoes in the microwave right now. So I'm cooking them up. But for right now, we're gonna cook up some of these shrimp. And what I usually do for this is, lately some of the boxes already have, um, like air fryer 
temps on their boxes. So for this, it says, um, if you were to deep fry them, what temp to put them on, and then your regular oven, which is 425. But my air fryer only goes up to 400, so I put it on 400 for, it says 11 to 12 minutes, and I just cook them for 12 minutes, and then I shake them halfway in between. So I don't know if you guys know about shaking, but you just take them out, move them around, and then cook them for the rest of the time. So I'm gonna put these in right away set it I always go to that side I don't know set it to 400 and then it's automatically gonna go to 15 so we'll just put it down to 12 minutes and then halfway through I'll shake it up a little bit and then cook it the rest of the way they are all cooked I shook them in between and I'm going to plate some of them up if you guys like um, cocktail sauce or anything we get ours from festival because we just like this brand of it. Okay guys, and that is what's for lunch. So that only took, what, 12 minutes to make um, this for lunch. And then I just put the potatoes in the microwave for about, I think it was maybe like eight or nine minutes. And let's get started with supper. So we are ready to make supper tonight and I am going to be making homemade meatballs and I have everything ready. We'll be putting our meatballs with spaghetti tonight and with spaghetti sauce. So that's what we're gonna be making it for and i have my two pounds of hamburger i have two eggs breadcrumbs oregano parsley garlic salt salt and pepper and then my spray so if you want you could use fresh parsley and fresh um herbs if you want to but i'm not going to today so this is just what i had on hand for us to make this so I'm gonna get started with a two pounds of hamburger. I'm gonna crack the eggs in there. For the breadcrumbs, you are gonna need one and one fourth cup. Now I have Italian bread breadcrumbs and you could use just plain if you want. And I'll put this also down in the description area for you guys to follow. So I'm only gonna add a little bit of that just because I am using the Italian style bread crumbs. So I don't really wanna overdo that. And I am really not measuring out right now, but I will put it all down below what you need to add to yours. We're gonna give this a good mix. So I told you today that these recipes are going to be easy to follow. I don't usually make complicated meals or anything real complicated at all, just because I like to get the meals done. And if I'm going to make bigger batches, I usually wouldn't use the air fryer anyways. So, but for smaller batches and stuff like this, these cook up pretty quick in the air fryer versus using a pan. Um, sometimes what I'll do is um, take my spaghetti sauce, put it in a bigger pan, and then make a bunch of meatballs and cook it up with the sauce. And even with these two, with this recipe, you can do that also where you cook up the meatballs and then throw them in some sauce and cook them up that way. 
Okay, I'm going to take my air fryer out because I'm going to spray it down before I put the meatballs in. If you guys would like, you can put a piece of foil in here, poke some holes in it, and then the air still comes through, but then you have less mess inside your air fryer. I do have a removable tray, so it's a little bit easier for me to clean out too, um, but sometimes it does go, you know, the grease and stuff goes down below, but that's okay. So we're going to make these up here. I have 15 um, meatballs in here, and then I have a couple more in the bowl that I'll cook up after. But for right now, let's put these in here. You're gonna wanna set your air fryer to 350, and you're gonna wanna cook them for 12 minutes starting. And then we're gonna check them, turn them around, and then we're gonna cook them for another like five, six minutes, depending on how long it takes to cook them all the way. Cooking time is finished. I'm just gonna flip these over, and they're already starting to brown, so. I'm only gonna cook them for another like three or four minutes and then they should be finished. I'm gonna plate them up real quick. Just gonna put them right on top. Now, like I said before, you can put the sauce, put these in the sauce if you would like, but I'm just gonna do it this way. parsley hopefully you guys like this three-part um recipe video breakfast lunch and dinner today and hopefully that was easy enough for everybody to follow like i said before i will leave all the recipes down in the description other than that guys hopefully you like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one